Oh, <laughs> fuck with me. Talking about that. Is that a Confederate hat he won? Yeah, nigga. Hell you talking about? This is heritage. My granddaddy's, pappy's daddy's, daddy's, and his brother fought as a Confederate soldier. Then my mama's daddy, which is my granddaddy, Freddie White, fought in the Air Force. Fuck you talking about, nigga? Uncle Joe went? Uh, yeah, nigga. I don't, yeah, nigga. I'm the, yeah. Fuck you talking about? Yo, 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 welcome to the Rocket City Network. We are back with another banger. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, y'all. So, there's a guy on the internet, right? He's been, he's been off the chain for the past two or three years. His name is Charleston White. Now, although I do agree with some of his, his rhetoric, um, some, of the, some of the ways that he, he presents himself and he moves it's kind of troubling, right? So me and Courtney, we've, we've gone back and forth. Uh, he actually kind of put me up on Charleston White. Um, of course, I had heard of him, but I hadn't really dived into his work. And we talked about him extensively when I was out in Savannah um, a, few, a few months ago. Um, so I'm not an expert on the guy, but Courtney is. Courtney, do you think Charleston White is bojangling and buck dancing for the internet man i think charleston white is i think i think he's gotten away from his original message right mm -hmm. um some things you said um some of the things he said about the black community things that we need to do and we need to fix up is is mm -hmm. very true i i 100 percent agree with him what i don't like is i feel he's trying to be a celebrity and when I mean by that, he, he, you can't say you're for the black community, but then you diss black people in the same breath. Yeah. Like you can't, you know, you like you and I were talking about an interview he did where he pulled out the gun on that 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 brother because the brother challenged him on something that he said about I think it was King Von's mom or somebody else's mom calling her a B and, and and all this. And I'm like, wait, 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 bro. I thought your message was let's clean up our community and, and, and let's move forward. We're all about that. We know as black people that we have some issues in our community that we need to tackle. And, but in and, the and same before, breath, and though, but, but wait, before you move on mm -hmm. that whole Vaughn, that whole Vaughn King Vaughn thing, right? I was about to call him Vaughn Miller, but the whole King Vaughn thing, Charleston white actually bragged right. about paying for things for her. Right. And then, and then you go, you, 10 seconds later, you start talking about her and, and calling her out of her name. Now, I was wondering, yeah. hey, did you give her that money out of the kindness of your heart or are you clout chasing? Nigga, I'm tired of heaven. So I can say fuck whoever mama nigga. And I kill a bitch behind me saying fuck they mama. I done helped them bitches. So somebody else helped them hoe. And I ain't fuck now, bitch, and could have fucked the bitch. So y'all go help the bitch. Since y'all got so much to say. <clears throat> bitch, give me back the money then, ho. Fuck ass bitch. I ain't have to help now more you rotten ass ho. Bitch, my mama ain't got a bunch of kids that die. Bitch, all you ho buried your baby. Fuck y'all pain, bitch. Give me back my goddamn money, ho. Or suck my dick, bitch. In Chicago, fuck y'all, right, suck right, my right, dick, right, bitch. Right, hold on, hold on, I keep on, a goddamn gun hey, hold for on, whatever. Hold on, hold on, guys. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about shit. Nigga, I keep a motherfucking gun. Nigga, I keep a motherfucking gun, nigga. Nigga, I keep a motherfucking gun, Chicago. Say, homie, you better, nigga, what you got going Man, you better sit down, homie. What you mean, what I'm on? Nigga, don't fuck with me with a gun in my hand, nigga. No, you're good, and and but that's an excellent point. That that's why I was, I earlier, like he started out, his message may have been pure, but see, here's the thing about about you know we know this. Here's the thing about getting fame and power is that you may start off your trajectory trajectory you're on, you may be on the right path, but see, when people start telling you when they're receiving your message and they're telling you they agree with what you're saying and they start inviting you here to speak and and this and that. Um, but then your personality begins to change along the way. And I feel like his personality, like he's always, I, I think 
even before this, he was always who he was, right? Yeah. Yeah, but along the way now, the cameras are in his face. I feel like he's taking it to another level, and he's kind of his message is kind of the same, but he's trolling and he's veering off. He's veering off because you can't tell me as a black person we need to clean up our communities, but you wearing Trump twenty twenty four hats in your yeah. videos. That's gonna turn flag. me off right there. Confederate flag. Trump, I don't want to hear nothing about Trump. Correct. You, yeah. Yeah. Like so, you so you're sending mis, mixed signals. And 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 that's confusing a lot of people because you can't say oh this 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 but then you on you Trump had like you said Confederate flag in the background Confederate hat on your head brother which is it are you for yeah. the people or are you just collecting a check off of because because we got a lot of people in our community already who profit off our pain yeah right and mm -hmm. and so we we don't need. We don't need more of that. We need solutions. We need to come together and get solutions. We can't have people coming and saying, I'm for you, but you're profiting off our pain. And then you're trolling. You can you can vote for Trump and whatever, but you also know what Trump stands for. And so what what message are you sending black people when you do that? Yeah. You know, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Not only that. Mm -hmm. When you when you take truth and you mix it with lies, it does become confusing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I think that that's that's borderline riding the fence, right? You can be saying a lot of things. I mean, I I, I do agree with him with the whole snitching culture, you know, because um, I tell you right now, my kids they're tattletellers, right? And that's how we raise them. Because so many times in a black community, we told our kids to don't be a tattleteller. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. they're getting molested by a cousin, an uncle, right. brother, a father. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? 30 years fast forward, that same uncle, brother, father is over the grill at the barbecue. So I do agree with with yeah. him on the whole snitching because um you know that that's a that's a situation that was came, that came from the streets and it actually infiltrated right. everyday life amongst uh people of all nationalities you know that the word snitching mm -hmm. it's it, it transcends um uh racial cultures it transcends everything so i do agree with him with the whole you know snitching and and and, and once some of these uh these rappers get in front of that judge, they start, you know, crying and whining. And, you know, you have that, that baby mama at the crib, yeah. you know, she's like, baby, come home, you know, a uh, situation with Gunner, right. you know, he Gunner's running around, yeah. you know, trying to exonerate himself from the whole snitching mm -hmm. label. Right. But yeah. we all seen the paperwork based off of the street code he told, you know, and yeah. uh, I know we discussed this before, a RICO charge is a hard charge to beat, right? The the government pretty much got you when they throw that on you. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. The, the government is 99%. You know, they, they shoot 99% from the free throw line, you know, and they, they got you. And so what they do with these celebrities is they have them in jail, just sitting there, milking them dry, right? Yep. Especially don't, don't let you catch a RICO charge doing something like COVID when they, <laughs> when they push back your your court date, right? So, yeah. and, and that's that's the whole thing. They, they try to break you, right? Irv Gotti, $1 million uh, RICO charge, right? They, they said he laundered a million dollars. It took him $11 million to fight that case. Yeah, he won, but it took him $11 million, you know? So they're gonna sit you down if you're an artist because you're gonna start talking when you're used to that show money. Now, somebody like, um, you know, T.I. or or even your, your young thugs, they got money to, you know, to hold them over for a couple of years, you know, as long as it's being managed right. Yeah. But but, but yeah, yeah. Um, I do agree with with uh, Charleston White on that whole, you know, snitching and, and, and rappers being held accountable. Um, but like I said, I I like that my kids are tattletellers. <laughs> Hey, but, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Listen, I mean, listen, that's, that's that's real because, you know, we, we 
I think it's like in my class, man. And when I ask a student who did what, and they be like, I'm not a snitch. And I'm like, you know, I was like, you're just using, you using that term. But I'm like, do you really understand when you really a snitch, people want to take you out. Like, it's yes. not a game. If I ask you who was talking in class, you tell me who was talking in class. Nobody going to come and take you out because you told me this student was talking. Mm -hmm. I was like, and if you in the street, it's a different story. They're going to they gonna, they gonna take you out if they think or they feel or they know that you told on them. That's a different scenario. And so we, and, and that's the problem. These kids, it's something that's, it, 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 it's, they don't understand the difference from the street. And and you're growing up, you go to a, you go to a private school, a private church school or mm -hmm. private school, or you live in the suburbs. Uh, your life is very different from somebody who lives in the hood, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, you in the suburbs and, and there's nothing wrong with living in the, in the suburbs. That's a good life to live. But, but we, but we, but we got to clear up the message of snitching. Oh, he a rat. These rappers do a horrible job. Yeah. He's a rat. He's a rat. He's a rat. I mean, what, what do you, what do you, what do you think people go do? Like you said, if we both get a Rico charge, we all, they swipe us a, a sweep or do a sweep and we all in together and they come and tell somebody, if you do this, you'll get this many years or you'll get to go home. Um, you know what I mean? Like them boys, they didn't have young thug money. They ain't even, them other boys didn't have gunners money. So you think they go, they go sit down that, that, Man. listen, no matter how many pairs of sneakers, no matter how many times you pay for me to eat, you pay for that out of your pocket. I don't have no money. So I was a runner for you. And yeah. now you're locked up and you got money to get these lawyers and they're going to give me a public defender or something. Man, yep. please. They're going to tell. Yeah, they're going to they gonna tell. Like I said, you have, you got your baby mama, you know, come home, Tay. Come home. We got, you know, little Tay Tay. He, he, he needs you. He needs you to be home, you know. So that starts yeah. wearing on yeah. you, you know. Um, and then yeah. the, the whole thing about calling somebody a rat, right? So me and you, we've discussed this right. before. They called Alpo a rat for years, right? Mm. Once Alpo came home, all those people who were calling him rat on the social media spaces, they were nowhere to be found. And he was G-checking right. them. You calling him a rat? Oh, man, he going to slap you up, you know? Um, yeah. So, and of course, now that he's he's passed, um, now people are coming back out the, out the woodwork. But yeah, you know, he might have been a rat based off street terminology. But he was a killer, and, and he had a whole bunch of people shook the last four or five years he was home. So, uh, and you see it throughout see. all of yep. entertainment. You know, we have a, a gentleman by the name of Kid Slade. He had got accused of being a rat in a battle, and it, it it went crazy. He had the internet going on fire, right? Well, he's been exonerated since. But the person who called mm. him a rat, he didn't want the fade. Kid Slade was like, hey, I want the fade since you've been, you know, talking bad about me. So, so, I mean, if you call me right. a rat in my face, I mean, that, that's very disrespectful. And on top of that, that label of being called a rat, you know, it, it does something to you. You know, you're, if you're in the streets, yeah. you're labeled as a rat. I mean, your life, your livelihood could be in danger. So, I mean, I understand, you know, things happen or whatnot. And you, if you are in that street life, you got to get out of it. And, and if you do become, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh informant, <laughs> I pray for you, but as far as civilians, you know, young kids, hey, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Because the, the streets, man, like the streets, is, is nothing out there for you in the streets, man. Like you going out there and you trying to prove that you're worthy or that you're trying to prove to them that you're this street person mm -hmm. and you're not. And even if you are, it's not always going to end well for you. No. Right. No. You know. The, either you're going to be in jail or you're dead. Like, those are your only two choices when you're trying to navigate towards the streets. Like, you you see these rappers, um, they ain't living in the streets. Most of these, some of these rappers who got money, they in the suburbs and gated communities, dog. Yeah. They, their kids going to private school. Yeah. <laughs> they don't, what, they don't talk about that in the song. What, what you say? You know, but yet you got T.I., no, You're trying to teach no, somebody how to cook crack. Come on now. Listen, uh, man. 
Yeah, it, it's crazy. And, and and my final thoughts on Charleston White is, I mean, like he has a solid message, but you can tell he's he's starting to cloud chase. Uh, you know, not not mm-hmm. not in the sense of him just wearing jewelry all of a sudden, but uh, he's anti- right. and he's, he's antagonizing a lot of people. And um, hopefully he doesn't like yeah. you know get caught. I mean you know they now look them folks in the hood they'll give Zimmerman a pass, but you ain't gonna get a pass, Charleston White. <laughs> nah, you die. You, you they'll you give Darren that. Wilson a pass, but you ain't gonna get no pass. So you gotta yeah. tread lightly. <laughs> yeah, but but see, Charleston White is also smart though because he gets these people so riled up that they go on the internet and they make vile threats. Yes against them and you and and you brandishing a weapon saying when i see you i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this in you i'm gonna slap you or or i'm gonna send somebody bro that's a threat he already told you he working with the police (laughs) and you still stupid enough to let him get your seat warm and you get brazy and get on the internet and send a message his way you just playing into his game charleston white is not a dummy and so but you got to be smarter than that. Like you said, he's an antagonist, so he's going to do things to get you riled up. But you got to be smart enough to know the game and be like, if I say something to this kind like, of like, I love Lil Boosie. Like, Lil Boosie yeah. got his whatever, but I love Lil Boosie. And yeah, Lil white man down. So cool. You said what? White man down. <laughs> right. he, listen, Boosie said something so real, man. He said... Man, I can't fool with Charleston White, man, because yeah, he's trying yeah. to take me away from my family, dog. Yep. I salute Boosie, bro. Like, yeah. that's a real statement. That man know he got kids to raise. He still yep. got babies out here that he needs to raise and be there for and provide for. So he can't – I'm not going to let Charleston White knock me off of where I want to go. So I salute Boosie, and I hope the rest of these guys – take the, the the route that Boosie taking. Like, yeah, I could get on them. I can get on camera and say, I'm going to do this and do that. Mm-hmm. But Charleston White playing a different game. And these boys ain't, <laughs> they not picking it up yet, man. They, they lack the ability to connect dots. I mean, they, they should see it a right. mile coming, you know, and they, they just keep on falling right. for the okie doke, man. So, uh, yeah, that's my All final thoughts on Charleston White, man, you know, like I said, he he bojangles and he buck dances a lot, but some of the stuff that he says, it really hits home and it and it resonates. Well, there you yep. have it, folks. The Rocket City Network. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we're out.